live from Las Vegas, it's theCUBE. Covering Informatica World 2018. Brought to you by Informatica. Hey, welcome back everyone. Live here in Las Vegas at the Venetian. This is Informatica World 2018, CUBE's exclusive coverage. It's our fourth year covering Informatica World and boy, what a transition. It's been fun to watch. I'm John Furrier, the co-host of the CUBE with Peter Burris, head of research for Wikibon and SiliconANGLE in the CUBE. Our next guest is Sally Jenkins, Executive Vice President, Chief Marketing Officer in Informatica. Welcome back, good to see you. Thank you, John, it's nice to see you too. Very comfortable here. You know, you guys having a great event. Congratulations, it's crowded, but it doesn't feel crowded. A lot of sessions are going going on, what's going on at the event? Give us some stats, you got a lot of partners here. Yeah, so we uh, are very happy to be back in Las Vegas, and we are taking a whole, taking this up a whole notch a bit, if you can notice. Um, we've got uh, close to 4,000 folks who saw the opening general session this morning. For the first time ever, we're live streaming, um, and, and sent out a, a note that we were live streaming to over 250,000 customers. So I'm real happy about that, because as you know, with the rebrand last year, it was all about getting our message out and up-leveling uh, our message so we're really happy that our message is getting out there with everything that came from General Session this morning and then yeah. tomorrow with closing General Session. It just gets bigger every year, so congratulations. It's Thank great, you. It's great to see the, everything coming. First, the products are just right in line. The timing couldn't have been That's better. Right. Multi-cloud, everything's kind of clicking. GDPR over the top, little, little, little push there for all the international customers. But the big story that we see is the, the journeys that are happening. Mm -hmm. You guys have been on a journey as your own company, digital di disruption, digital transformation, but there's multiple journeys. Can you just take us through the vision of how you guys see um, the, the journeys and, and, and how does Informatica fit into the customers? Because your customers are also changing. Yes, you that's right. You change your business model, Anil laid it out, customers have this journey, what's the four journeys? Yes, that's a great question, John. So we have, uh, of course, been customer-centric ourselves, we've adapted our journeys to accommodate the journeys that we know our customers are on. And this whole conference is centered around those four journeys. So hybrid cloud, um, uh, next-gen analytics, 360 engagement, and data governance and compliance. So that's what we've heard our customers deal with day in and day out in their data-centric um, um, initiatives, and so we wanted to cap and, uh, encapsulate that into the entire conference. So that's what it's all about, and that's an extension of our messaging that we laid out last year. So you'll see that again and again and again in a consistent fashion. Disrupt intelligently, I saw the messaging. So uh, first of all, great artwork, great branding, love the images. What does that mean? Because you got all kinds of great imagery, people on the move, mobile, Data's involved, obviously, the center of it. Well, that, and, and data is the critical foundation for what we call intelligent disruptive. So disruption with a purpose is intelligent, and we believe with our technology that our customers can then unleash the power of their data to create what we call their next intelligent disruption. So we were very thoughtful about the choice of words there because disruption can be considered a negative, yeah. but we see it as very much a positive and a way for customers to leapfrog the competition and set, set the tone for their markets. This is an interesting concept. We were talking with a lot of the customers you've had on, we've had Toyota on, mm -hmm. and they said, quote, these testimonies just kind of kind of pop out. We knew all, we had the data. We had all these problems, we hadn't connected, but we actually had the data when they actually connected that said, we could have foreseen this. That's right. So they were disrupted in a negative way, yeah. the fact that they were trying to connect, now they're set up. And then he used an example, once they got set up, that they didn't predict that all this inbound data from the cars were coming in. Mm -hmm. So again, that's a disruption, right. but now they're handled it. Right, right. Is that kind of the, where you guys are kind of connecting the dots on that's right. the intelligent piece? Yeah, we're helping our customers understand what to do with the data, right? So they know the data exists, but we need to help them turn it into actionable insights that leads to their next disruption and again and again and again with their different projects. And so that's those are the conversations that we've been having with our customers, just helping them, we say, unleash the power of their data, the data's there, we need to make it useful and valuable to them. And competitive advantage, obviously seeing data, you know, ease of use as a competitive strategy. Mm -hmm. Now the Microsoft announcement was interesting because you can see that you can take an on-prem data set, go through the Azure portal mm -hmm. in their console, which is very cloud native, mm -hmm. you know, press a few buttons, yep. connect to Informatica's intelligent mm -hmm. cloud service, mm -hmm. and move data. That's right. I mean, it's not like there's a, 
back, someone behind the curtain, it's actually no, working product. No, it's products. real, it's real and, and it's available for preview. And if you saw the keynote this morning, you heard from Scott Guthrie, he said this whole partnership between Informatica and Microsoft, and I quote, a match made in heaven. So there is something real there, um, and Microsoft and their customers see the value in partnering with us, so we were really pleased to announce that today. I'm going to check the, um, the, the, the internet, but I think this might be the first iPaaS integration into Azure um, at this level. I mean, because mm -hmm. it's pretty deep mm -hmm. with these guys. So that's going to certainly set up hybrid cloud instantly. That's right, for that's anyone. right. And, and, and scale, right? We're, we're enterprise scale to begin with, obviously, so is Microsoft, so it's a good partnership. Okay, find the branding piece. I got to ask you, you guys did the rebranding. What's your one year review? If you had to give yourself a report card, you know, check, 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 straight A's, you know, perfect score. Well, I'd, like to, say, I'd like to say that we were in the honor roll <laughs> um, and we measure ourselves based on what our customers tell us. So we were very deliberate and choosing a few areas of which we wanted to see progress. And that is, the first one is, were people aware that we are a cloud company? And I'm delighted to say that yes, we've absolutely moved the needle on that. So they associate Informatica with cloud. As, as you know, we're the number one in enterprise cloud data management. That's what we kicked off last year. And so you'll see a continued investment around the globe in the brand. We believe that good brand health is what, what leaders do in terms of um, you know, setting the pace for their industry and that's exactly what we're doing. So one year into it, we feel really good. We did, we set out and we delivered on what we said we were going to do. Um, and if you all remember last year as part of the rebrand, as soon as we went external, then we needed to shift our focus back internally and think about how does this, uh, what does this mean to our employees and how do we leverage the culture that we already had inside Informatica and build upon that, and that's exactly what we've been working on. So we rolled out a new set of values in January. To no surprise, that they're called We Data, mm -hmm. and data stands for do good, um, act as one team, think customer first, and aspire for the future. And so that's what we're doing right now is rolling that out around the world to our employees, and that was based on employee feedback as well. That's, that's bottoms up, that's good organic uh, that's right. listening. Yes. I got I to gotta talk about branding, because this is something that we're seeing a lot of in seeing a lot of shifts going on. When you have these shifts, you mentioned earlier about getting a competitive advantage, a leg up on the competition. Mm -hmm. You guys have that same opportunity because the brand pecking order of, of companies is going to change with these new waves coming. Mm -hmm. With data, certainly, so it's a huge opportunity. Do you guys talk about that when you're in the brand meetings and you're talking about the, with the execs, the, the power of the brand and building the Absolutely. brand? And, and what are some of the things that you're focused on to help continue to build that brand? Well, I, I, I think where you're going with this is what's the financial impact or value that the brand has? And everybody from our industry analysts to the financial analysts to our customers to partners, they put a value on the brand. So if you don't define who you are in the market, then you let everybody else define you. And and then there's no value in that. So that's really what we set out to do last year is we wanted to define who we were and be proud of it and take ownership of it. Put a stake in the ground. Yeah, and then continue to invest in that. So when I say we'll continue in to invest in the brand, that is about our messaging and making sure that we are very clear as to who we are and as, as I said, because we're setting the pace for this industry. And the brand promise, real quick, just to summarize, for if you had to kind of sum up the bumper sticker for uh, Informatica, disrupt intelligently, kind of add to that, what would be the brand promise to your customers? Yeah, so it's the disruptive power of data, and then what falls out of that is unleashing the power of data, yeah. right? So that's our prom brand promise to our customers, is that's, in the, like we were talking about earlier, that's exactly what we do for them with yeah. our technology, and how can we help them stay ahead of their competition? And that's great, if you look at the trends too, look at um, what GDPR's doing, and you know some of the blockchain stuff that's kind of emerging, it's power to the people, people mm -hmm. want to have, you know, control of the data. That's right. <laughs> yeah. Putting the control back in their hands. Great yeah. stuff. Sally, thanks for coming on theCUBE, appreciate Good. it. Great to see you. Thanks, Congratulations. John. And great to have with our fourth year, our fifth year with Anil, we saw him at Amazon reinvent in 2014. So great to continue to watch you guys grow. It's been fun to watch. Great, good. Well, stay tuned. There's more to come for sure. All right, can't wait to hear. This is theCUBE live here at Informatica World. Two days of coverage here. We're, we're getting down to the second day. We've got more action coming. Stay here with us. I'm John Furrier, Peter Burris. We'll be back after this short break. <laughs>